Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your March 2018 monthly reading. Now, this is intended to be, usually my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. The last few monthlies were not, so we'll see what comes up. If it turns out to be a general, then so be it. What I really like you to do is realize that this reading might not be for you. Okay, it might not, it may, it may not. Generally, these readings are for people that are struggling in some way, okay? So if you're living a happily ever after, you probably shouldn't be watching this, okay? So this right here, there's some insecurities. Um, things may be moving very fast. There could be some hasty decisions being made. Um, maybe you're feeling like you're in the dark about something. Maybe somebody is being dishonest with you and you know it, okay? Oh, there's a lack of self-love here, okay? Somebody is, or, you know, I'm not sure that if it's you or somebody else, but there's a lack of love for oneself. There's a lack of, um, using your heart in some way, and it's for yourself. I mean, that's what it is. This, this is the Empress reversed. It's like, I feel like you're being called to trust your instincts, right now and it's really time to focus on what you truly truly desire deep down in your heart you know and i think that you're not you're you're feeling very emotional during this time and your heart is probably hurting in some way and because i see the insecurity here but you just and you're you're ignoring these feelings in your heart because of the lack of love for yourself i mean the empress reverse is lack of love for oneself okay um there's lack of wish fulfillment here. This is the Nine of Cups reverse. There's lack of wish fulfillment because somebody's not following their heart or they're not being, or the person they're dealing with isn't offering them the love. You, I mean, you could be dealing with somebody who is being very cruel. This could be the other person. Maybe they don't have, maybe they don't love themselves, so they're treating you very badly. I mean, this person reverse can be very cruel, mean, um unable to communicate, very cold. I mean, this person can be very harsh when um, not in love, okay? So I'm not sure who this is, if it's you or, or somebody else, but with the Empress reversed, I feel as though it's really time to refocus on what you desire. Somebody is ignoring their true feelings, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. There is a lack of happiness here. There's a lack of content and a lack of wish fulfillment in some arena. I feel as though something may have happened too quickly and there could be some regrets now. It's brought up, brought about some sort of insecurity, all right? You could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, because we have Taurus here and we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Um, we also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. And we do have Aries so far. But somebody's ignoring the truth. Somebody has a blindfold on. They're absolutely pretending that everything is okay when everything is not. I mean, that's what's going on here. There's a lack of of happiness because somebody is not being honest somebody is pretending they're procrastinating making a move that that needs to be made because of the lack of uh love there's a lack of love here and i don't know if it's you or, or somebody else but there's definitely a lack of love and somebody is pretending that it's there when it's not there i feel like it's time for somebody to start a new journey it's time for somebody to take a risk this is what comes out Okay, when the Fool card comes out, it means it's time to start anew. It's time to go down a new road. It's time to start a new path that's going to bring more security and stability to your life. I feel as though, you know, there you could have a new opportunity that's being presented to you that's happening too fast, too, too, too fast to make you comfortable. I don't know. <laughs> there is something that is causing a heaviness within you. I feel as though there's there's a there's a somebody's being dishonest. You're dealing with somebody who is being dishonest. 
There's dishonesty here, okay? Because this is dishonest and this is dishonest too with this Empress reverse. There's some sort of dishonesty here and I think that there's avoidance. Somebody is avoiding the truth. Somebody is avoiding the truth because of, for one, codependency. Uh, for another reason, they don't want any legal issues. They don't want to go down that legal road, you know? And they just don't want to accept the truth. That's what it is. It's like they don't want to accept the truth. They don't have... Somebody is not offering. They're not offering a new beginning. They're not offering a fresh start. They're not giving. There's not enough give and take in this relationship. Whatever it is, somebody is not reciprocating. And it's causing uh, a lot of disharmony within the relationship. It's like there's a dying wish here that didn't work out. And somebody's feeling very, very left out in the cold. And there's a lack of love being given by somebody in this re relationship and I feel as though you have security and stability to offer but this other person is not reciprocating once again I mean that's what it is it's like you're trying to give you're giving all that you got here I'm giving all that I got but it feels like you're not receiving anything in return they're not they're not giving back to you I mean that's what it looks like to me it looks like you're you are secure and stable and you know I don't care about you cross watchers watching and saying oh no no don't bother don't bother pointing the finger at your cancer because this reading is for cancer okay I feel as though you cancer are offering stability and security to somebody and they are not reciprocating Here's the Ace of Pentacles reversed. It's like there's no front, there's no new start with this person, and that's why you're being called to go down a new road. It's like there's there's no new security coming in from this person. This is insecurity, and this is no new security. This person, it's a very insecure union, and I apologize for telling you that, but it's the truth. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we have Libra twice. We have Taurus twice. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius again. But I feel like you're being called to be objective about this situation. Really, it's time to open your eyes. See the truth of the situation. It's time for you to take the lead. Because right now, you're, somebody's not accepting the truth. Somebody is in complete denial over a situation. This is for the month month of March, by the way. Look at three aces reversed. There's no new beginning with this person. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. They're all reversed. One, 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 that's manifestation. These one, one, ones are reversed. There's no newness. There's no new growth. There's no new expansion. There's no new fertility. There's no new security. There's no new truth. There's no new power. There's no newness with whoever it is that you're thinking about right now. Three aces. There's no way that you can manifest this to work out in your favor. I'm just giving you what the cards say. And the thing is, is you're, you're going backwards. You're holding on. You're stuck in a rut. That's the Six of Swords. It's the Six of Swords reversed. There's no moving out of this because you're, there's no change happening because you're staying stuck in these troubled waters. You're staying stuck in this, these troubled times. You're, you're not moving forward. You're staying stuck in the past. You're not moving forward. You're refusing to see. You're refusing to see the new approach. And it does not lead to destiny. It does not lead to wish fulfillment. It does not lead to newness because you're not you're not letting it. You're going backwards. You're stuck. You're not spinning the wheel. That's the wheel of fortune. You, there's no good going to come out of staying stuck in this predicament that you're in with this person that is not reciprocating. I'm sorry. 
It doesn't look like it's going to change in your favor. It is not going to change in your favor. If this was upright, I could tell you that it's going to. It's not. Okay? There's no change of course here with this person that is not reciprocating. It's right here over this Empress Reverse, whoever you're dealing with. This person is not going to budge. They're not going to change. And right now, it's just an obsession. I think you're obsessed with somebody, Cancer, and I'm sorry. I think you're obsessed with somebody who there's no new beginning with. There's no fresh start. There's not, and you're being called to go down a new road and start elsewhere. But right now, you're, you're stuck in the past. You're refusing to see the new approach. You are refusing to see the other options that are available to you because you're trying to manifest love with somebody who isn't reciprocating. Not the way that you want them to reciprocate. You're thinking they're going to change. You are you are sitting here thinking this person is going to change their mind. They're going to change. Eventually, they're going to love me. That's not what's going to happen here. It's not. There could be a third-party situation. You know, and you're being tested right now. You're being tested. Your strength is being tested. I feel like you have been very solid and you've been waiting. You've been waiting, waiting, waiting for, you're, you've been thinking that your solid commitment, your solid love, your solid um, ability to give all that you have been giving, I mean, you've been giving it all to this person, is going to change their mind. But it's not. I see your reluctance. I do. I see your reluctance. You're reluctant to let go. Um, and you've been patient. It's like, you know what? I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to do everything I can for this person in the meantime. And eventually they're going to love me. I feel as though that is absolutely not the case. You could be definitely two threes right next to each other. Again with the Empress card. Okay, there's there definitely could be a third party situation. And I see a break in a contract. The lover's card reversed. This is a contract that is probably going to end. Because somebody is not putting in any effort to the relationship that you are trying to manifest. They aren't. They aren't moving forward. They ain't put nothing into it. It was sexual. I believe this was a very sexual attraction. And, you know, you, many of you are absolutely dealing with a Taurus, or you will be dealing with a Taurus. I see that you are being called to go down a new path, to start a new path, take a risk that could lead to wish fulfillment. You need to step back. You need to be comfortable with yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to set clear intentions. You need to follow your inner guide. Are you really listening to your inner guide right now? Are you? What does your inner guide say? Or, or you know, your inner guide is not your heart. Okay. So many of you are letting your heart rule. And that's what cancer does. Okay? You let your heart rule. But your inner guide is telling you that this is not working out. It's time to let go. This is the hanged man. It's time to let go. I see that you're resisting this change for fear of the unknown. Codependency is absolutely an issue here. I feel as though it's really a time of healing. It's a time of hope. It's a time of renewal. But you have to let go of something. Somebody is not reciprocating. And like I said, this reading will not be for every single person that watches it. So keep that in mind. Use your common sense. This reading may be for you or it may not be. And this reading is also for March. I will get these people that will comment. It's ridiculous. 
If it's not for you, it's not for you. Use your common sense and move on. Somebody that is watching this is going through a lot of heartache because their partner is not reciprocating. And they're in denial, hoping that they can change this person, hoping they can manifest this love to blossom, hoping that if they give, 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 give more, 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 things will change. I don't see it changing. I see that your wish fulfillment is down a new road. But your lack of ability to go out on your own and take care of yourself and be patient. Patience is needed big time, big time. Patience is needed to wait for the right one that will reciprocate. But because you don't have the patience, because you don't want to be alone, you're going to continue to manifest or try to manifest this wrong one loving you. This wrong one is not going to fall in love with you. And that's what I see. And you guys can all hate me. You cannot change God's plan. Well, I knew I put this reading off for a reason. Damn it. Um, and I don't have any cancers in my life. So, just saying. Uh... There's a lack of a uh, dream come true with this person. There's no there's no good luck coming. There's no good fortune. There's no new chapter. There's no positive manifestation. I feel like this person is detached. They are probably very cruel. They there's I don't know. This is for somebody. You are I, this is I don't know who this is for. It could be just for one person. Okay? Keep that in mind. I think that there is somebody that is not reciprocating and there's no chance of it and I think this month is a is a could be a month of actually standing up for yourself and letting go but I don't think that's the case because I think right now during this month you're still gonna try you still but your inner guide is gonna be talking to you a lot because this is your inner guide your inner guide is gonna be telling you what to do throughout this month so really use that as your advice card listen to your inner guide Okay, if your inner guide, your inner guide tells you when something is wrong. Okay, if you're worried, if you're like, oh, what, what is, what is she doing? What is he doing? You know, that's a, that's a valid inner guide uh, nudge. Okay, if you're worried about your partner doing something, that is your inner guide saying a ding, 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 ding. Okay, your inner guide is talking to you very much this month, and you are being called to listen. Are you listening? Okay. I feel as though there is somebody that is not reciprocating. And I'm so sorry. You're being called to look at this from a new perspective. To be objective about this situation and go down a new path. But I don't think you're going to. Wisdom. Oh, let go of the need to control. <laughs> Trust in the wisdom of a divine plan. I told you a while back, you can't change God's plan. You cannot. Whoever you're dealing with isn't, that isn't reciprocating. Whoever this is for, it isn't going to change. You can't control it. You can't manifest it. I'm sorry, this is not what you want to hear. I'm sure that many of you are not liking me at this point. But I am not going to tell you that everything is going to get better. 
when it's not the first step to healing is acceptance acceptance accept the truth via your inner guide your inner guide is telling you the truth accept the truth I think it's a time of renewal where you start or you decide or you think about even going down a new path with faith and trust. A brand new path because when the fool comes up in a reading, that's a brand new path someplace you've never been before. And it's here in your reading. time for you to go down a new journey start a new journey start a new path but damn that takes faith do you have it what is your inner guide telling you your heart is telling you you love this person and you want to stay and you want this to work out but your inner guide is saying what So this is a month of letting go of the need to control. That's what I have, Cancer. I feel as though you're dealing with somebody who is never going to change. Talk to you later.